Okay, it has seemed since forever since I've done any of this. I, uh, Nicole and I came to Korea. I'm currently in Korea, and I, I filmed these in here, but it, there, it, the mysticism is there's no view for y'all of, of what, whether it's a creation or not, I don't know. But we stayed in, apparently, a little um, love bungalow. Nicole found a great deal in a motel, and uh, we had dinner with some Korean people, and they were completely upset that we stayed in this love bungalow. And they said, the husband said, it's just there for going for fun. And I said, well, we had fun, so <laughs> it must have worked. Uh, and it was clean, and it was in the city, and it was quiet, and it was relatively inexpensive, and we liked it. And one of Simon's friends was going back to Canada, and he said, I have an apartment that you can rent. And he rented it to us for a little less than a love bungalow, which is not fair, but it is how things are. But you walk up this massive hill in Seoul, Korea, and we are in the midst of the woods. I don't know if this is going to sustain, but that's, that's, and that goes on. That goes on over the top of the hill. Uh, if you look out the, the, that window there, I don't think you can see because of the light, but that direction, there's a, a Buddhist monastery uh, that's huge with the bells and the monks and the uh, uh, tiled roofs and the dragons and everything else. And this is where we have kind of landed in Korea for the last two days of our visit, or no, last week of our visit. Uh, thank you very much, Alan. Your place is greatly appreciated and magnificent. But we came for a retreat. Uh, the retreat we came for uh, a friend of mine, a client of mine, did the retreat, and he said that he made it through the tr retreat relatively quickly, maybe the quickest of anybody. And he said, the retreat, I made it through so quickly because of the work that I've done with you. And I felt that that was a, an arrogant station on, st statement on his part, and I felt a little uncomfortable with it. But I came last year to Korea, and the class didn't happen. And so this year, when there was an opportunity for it to happen, I, uh, my wife Nicole said that she wanted to do the retreat as well. And so we came specifically for an eight-day Zen Buddhist retreat uh, given by a Zen master who claims that he can awaken people in eight days or less. And his success rate is between 30 and 50 percent for each event. And that's why we came here. That was the entire reason for this visit to Korea. And we've created all this neat stuff, the neat place to stay. Uh, the food here is incredible. The people here are incredible. Uh, but that's going to be the topic for a few of these uh, videos. It's just this event that we partook in in the past week, about a, less than a week ago.